right, here we have it. Let's take a quick look at Apple Maps new functionality, which is the transit or public transportation system that is now built in to iOS 9. So real quick, let's just jump in here and we'll take a look at general. We'll look at the about. You can see that I am running iOS 9 and I'm actually running this on an iPhone 5. I didn't quite want to jump in and put this on my daily driver. Um, I wanted to play around with it first on uh, one of my older phones so I could uh, find out if there's going to be any major issues. That being said, let's jump into Maps. And here we are, we are looking at New York City. So uh, zoom out, we can see New York City. And here we are at 915 and there's tons of traffic in New York. So how do you avoid traffic in New York? Use public transit. So that's exactly what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the map here and uh, let's, come on. What I want you to do is let me see the little I button. There we go. So that I can switch over to transit view, just like you would back in, uh, not back in the day, but back in with iOS 8, you could switch between satellite and or map view. Now you have a transit option in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select transit and here we are, we are taking a look at the Times Square station, which is actually not centered anymore. There we go, down here at the bottom. And one of the things that I think is really cool that Apple has done is highlighted the actual underground tunnel system that takes you between the different entrances, exits, and the actual train um, you know, boarding spots. So you can see all this stuff that's in red is actually underground tunnel systems. So here's the Times Square station, the main Times Square station for the 7, the 1, 2, the 3, the N, the Q, and the R, the S line. And I can go all the way over 41st Street into the Port Authority building. And you can see that these are all walkable. You know, I could be underground walking from these different areas. And if I move around the bus, uh, you know, I got the Port Authority bus terminal. These little dots indicate entrances and exits in and out of the building. So you can see that this is this is actually above ground. So there's just a door entrance, and it's denoted by that little icon. And if I zoom back in, let's go up to 41st, back over to the Times Square station and I click on this entrance that's showing here, you'll see that that denotes a, um, a stair set. And it's really cool because it'll denote escalators, elevators, and stairs, and any combination that that specific station may have. Um, which is really nice for those of you who may be pushing strollers or in wheelchairs or you need handicap accessible. Very quick and easy way to find those elevator entrances. Um, if we zoom back out, one of the things that they touted was the the function that they, they talked about during the keynote of multi-mode routing. So let me go back to basic map view. So anytime work sends me into New York, I'm always in Times Square against my better judgment. We're in Times Square based on the fact that we have an office very close to Times Square. And uh, let's say I'm staying at the Doubletree Hilton Times Square and I wanna head over to meet my buddy who, le who lives in Queens. I'm gonna meet him over for a barbecue in the evening at Astoria Park. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit directions and I'm going to come in here, and I've got the double tree, so I'm going to put Astoria, which I've already done this. Oops, didn't put the R in there. Let's see, Astoria Park. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and route this. And the cool part is this is going to give me full, I'm going to have drive, walk, or transit. I'm going to select transit. And this is going to give me all of the time that is going to be spent and all of the methods that it's going to require for me to get there. Um, in other words, I'm going to have to walk a certain distance, I'm going to have to take a bus a certain distance, and I'm going to take the F train a certain distance. If I wanted to take different route um, than what has originally come up, I go ahead and I hit the more routes button, and you can see I have the F and the Q train, or I can walk in the F and the Q train, um, but I see the Q96, uh, Q69 bus will take me 37 minutes. Um, transferring to the F train, or I can take the Q69 uh, and transfer to the Q train. It'll take me 39 minutes, or I could walk it and take the Q train in 42 minutes. So if I wanted to do that, I'll go ahead and select that option, and it'll give me those options. So if I zoom in to Astoria Park, it'll show me that I will walk from Astoria Park to the Q line. I'll take the Q line over, and it'll take me down town, across the river, along the park, and right into the 49th Street Station in Times Square, where I would then get out and walk the rest of the way to my hotel. And so that transportation method that I chose will be a 42-minute um, uh, time. It's going to be roughly a mile of walking that you can see. Maybe I don't want to walk. Maybe I'm lazy. I'll go ahead and select uh, a bus to a train transfer. So again, let's start in Astoria. We'll walk over to the 21st or the 23rd drive bus stop for the Q96. 69, I keep saying 96, don't know why, dyslexia. We'll take the Q69 all the way down to the 
subway uh, station. We'll go ahead and walk up the entrance here at the Queens Bridge entrance, and we will hop on the F train, and then that F train will take us across town, over to the park, and down to the appropriate station at Rockefeller, where we would then get out, walk, as you can see, the train stops midway through the building. I'll walk downtown, and I will come out the exit on the 47th Street side. And there you have it, uh, 0.3 miles of walking, and it'll take me 37 minutes. So anyways, a couple of things that I was really impressed with is the underground, uh, the underground buildings that actually will tell you how long it's going to take you to walk that specific distance. Um, because, you know, a lot of times you do spend five minutes underground walking around in, uh, in New York City when you're in some of these larger stations, Rockefeller, um, Grand Central, Penn, uh, Penn Station, um, you know, these places all are very large and, uh, you know, the train gets off in one part of the building, but you need to walk quite a distance to get to the appropriate entrance or exit. So there we go. There's an elevator option, which is amazing. I think that's awesome. I spent a lot of time last time I was in New York for pleasure trying to figure out where I needed to go so that I could get my big double stroller in and out of the stations easily. But uh, there you have it. So that's a quick look at the new transit functionality on iOS 9. Again, um, the video is running a little bit sluggish. The interface is a little bit sluggish. I'm running on an older iPhone 5, and this is the first public, uh, not public, but dev build of iOS 9. But thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see any more videos on iOS 9 or any of the other announcements we saw at WWDC, please leave a message in the comments. Give me a thumbs up on this, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and all the other social places. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.